Okay, you guys have been waiting a while for our seminary apartment walkthrough. Going to do a really quick one, kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on. And uh, girls are in the background doing stuff, so this should be fun. Okay, as we walked in, here's the doorway. Um, it came with one coat rack. We added another just because, you know, dog leashes and keys and masks, you know, part of living with COVID. We've got this coat closet right here, but we don't need a whole coat closet. So instead, we turned it into a pantry. We even added, Megan had the idea of grabbing a uh, nice light to add some light in here. And so we can put most of our uh, dry goods in here. It's great. Over here is our small but adequate Ikea dining room set. Here's the main room. It's kind of an open thing. I'll pan around it slowly. Here's the kitchen where Penny is finishing up dishes. And, you know, it's a small kitchen, but it's, it's big enough. It's got the important things like an espresso machine and a bar and apparently a cordless drill for some reason. But we didn't have room for our microwave, so we kind of put it on top of the uh, the dog uh, bowl station. There's Manya getting ready to go to bed. Over here in the living room area, there's one of our two dog beds. We were shipped two. We have our couch and our love seat. We have our television, some family photos. Megan did a really great job of putting that together. Way better than I would have ever done. And this uh, piece of furniture started out at one point is kind of a side table for a, a fancy dining room set, but we you know repainted it and kind of turned it into an entertainment center and storage unit. Um, over here, we have some Ikea Calyx shelves that hold the board games. I only have about a third of my board games here. The rest are still in South Carolina. There's the deck that we'll get to in a minute. You'll see air conditioners. We don't have central air in these apartments. They're older, but we have three individual air conditioning units. Over here is our icon corner. And uh, let me talk a little bit about that before we move on. This is a traditional area for prayer in Eastern Orthodox homes. You know, um, not going to get into whole what icons are and the whole theology behind that. I'll do that another time. But, you know, just know that we have an icon here for Christ, for Mary the Theotokos, for each of the patron saints of all of us. And then along the top here, we have the icons for the 12 major feasts and the ones from Holy Week and Pascha. A lot of these you'll recognize uh, from Bible stories. Happy to talk about those later. And over here we have our shelf wall, which is made up of three tall Billy bookcases and two small ones. These hold all of uh, my books, although I still have a lot in South Carolina I didn't bring back. Some of our supplies, there's my fountain pen stuff, there's prayer books and such. Here's my pipe collections, more books, more books. Uh, some coffee methods and some glassware. And here's where the girls keep their books. We have another Ikea Calyx set up here that holds miscellaneous stuff. A lot of this is craft supplies. Um, we have tools in one of them. Just, you know, various odds and ends. There's our wireless printer. We could print from any of our phones or laptops, so that works out really well. Uh, kind of went through the kitchen. This bar has kind of become a junk area that we need to deal with. So right now it's a work in progress and we still have other pictures to hang. We're not fully there yet, but we're getting there. Uh, let's see, fire extinguisher, that's very important. Here's kind of the, just a little hallway area. And it, it's a small place, we only have two bedrooms. We have um, our master bedroom in here that you know has our king bed that fits it comfortably. There's a couple blankets, I didn't fully make the bed. Closet, of course, um, nice window. This looks out, this is a shrine uh, that's based off a 10th century uh, English shrine. Uh, I'll talk about that if anyone's interested. Here we have a poster from the film Parallel Love, including some people that you may recognize from the band Luxury, uh, two of whom, um, Lee, Father David Bozeman in the white there, the lead singer of Luxury, and Father Chris Foley on the right, the bass player, both lived in this very apartment when they were students here at St. Vladimir's. Uh, here's kind of my work setup. I've got this. Um, this was originally a uh, wall shelf. So that's why it's unfinished on this side that you would hang on the wall and it would jut out from the wall that you put stuff on. But I kind of turned it into a standing desk. So I have my keyboard I can pull out here and a monitor on top. 
and it's right at the perfect height so I can just plug in my laptop and go. Uh, there is a mic. Here is my wife's t-shirt press because her uh, Etsy shop, St. Marino Marketplace, is open and accepting orders for all kinds of Orthodox home decor items. So feel, I'll link to that in the links below. Get that. They get some nice items from her. Behind the door, I put up this nifty uh, coat hanger from Ikea that lets you move stuff around. I really like that. And that holds my cassock, my belts and suspenders. We did, you know, one of these shoe things that I'm not a huge fan of because it doesn't allow the door to fully close all the way, but we needed a spot to store shoes. Here in the bathroom, it's, you know, it's a basic small bathroom. We've got sink, medicine cabinet. Uh, we've got a shower where we added in some stuff. You know, we put in one organizer here, one organizer there, uh, anti-slip mat and toy thing for the girls. And on the back, we of course had to add some more storage that holds all of our stuff and a storage rack here that's got Manya's training potty seat and some other odds and ends. There's the girls. Say hello, girls. Hi. Let's go check out the girls' room. It was clean like five minutes ago, but uh, they've managed to destroy it in that time since then, because in the closet here, we have a setup for all of their Legos and Playmobil toys. Hi. Yeah, I'll give you the phone. You wanna say hi? Say, wave and say hi. Oh, you wanna climb up? This is Penny's bed up on the, uh, hello. And then with storage down below, Manya's climbing up there as well. Here's their portable air conditioner unit that, unit that goes out the window. Manya's crib, changing table, dresser, and again, their closet. It's all, you know, very basic stuff. Uh, I'll take you out in the deck, and that's really the end of the tour because it's a small apartment. So let's make our way back through the living room. Such a gorgeous day today. Okay, going out on the deck. We have, as we go out, there's greenery everywhere. It's one of the things I love about this. There's there's a house right down there. You can kind of see it through the trees. But we really, and you hear street noise. Um, people drive by too quickly or uh, sirens, but it really feels more secluded than it actually is. Out here we have, you know, our patio furniture. I got a rug, a nice patio rug from uh, Home Depot. Uh, the back side of the air conditioner, of course. I brought my grill, but they don't really want us grilling on. Uh, there's an ordinance about grilling out here, so I'll have to drag it out if I want to grill. Uh, and that has grilling implements inside. We bought this uh, kind of pet potty thing, the idea that uh, Kobe could go on that instead of us having to take him out on a leash all the time. But so far, he's been resistant to the idea. We'll see how that goes. Um, I've got some of these uh, TV tray tables that work great when I want to be on my laptop working out here. And again, we're right outside uh, the shrine, as you see, and then there's stairs that go down below to uh, the common room where there's kind of a playroom for the kids and kind of a work study area. There's the porch of our neighbors, uh, Ronnie and Rebecca. They're pretty awesome. So anyway, that's our home here at St. Vladimir's. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this virtual walkthrough. Uh, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to do more videos. I'm gonna, the next one's going to be on the first couple of weeks of classes, what, how those went. Um, so definitely click on the subscribe button. Click on the bell if you want to, all that YouTube nonsense. Uh, also, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to my Patreon subscribers. Uh, I've gotten a couple of new ones, which is awesome. If you would like to help support us here at Seminary, feel free to go that way. I've got a couple of little goodies there. But uh, really, it's just if you like what we're doing and you want to show a little bit of support, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, you know, no obligation, of course. And uh, I can't wait to show you more adventures our family's having here. Uh, like I always say, remember God, say your prayers, be kind to each other. Have a wonderful day.